Today I'll show you the overview of Pyronista N, and this is how you create avatars. Okay, are you ready? Let's touch to start. Okay, once you are in the app, and this is what you usually see, there's so many things, it's really easy to get lost, but I'll show you what we are going to do. This is what we're going to create. So it's two uh, really cute avatars, a couple in front of, of a cafe, and uh, here story this is where you start once you're in a story you'll see different bottoms but these are the two we'll be using okay closet this is where you dress up the avatars okay so this is a girl i had in my finals scene but we're gonna undress it first all right so when you just uh, register for pianista m this is what you'll see uh, usually just a female avatars with um, not much clothes on, but you can really just get whatever you want on her. And uh, here are the selections. Okay, I'll show you this uh, section first. Okay, all is what you have in the app right now. Now is what you have on her right now. But so far we don't have that much, so you see like mostly faces, uh, the hairstyle, but later on if you have dresses on her, all the dresses will be shown here too. And here you have the option to choose this one, uh, the hairstyle for her. And then later on this one is the face. You can put on different mouth, different eye colors, nose, there's a lot of selections you can really play with. And then later on, you'll see the cheek, one point. Okay, so for now, you, you have this come visit our shop logo. That's because you don't have any items seen under this category. But as you play Pyrenista more, you'll collect more items and you'll start to see them collected here. Right, this one is clothes. We have dresses, tops, bottoms, and costumes. And later on, hats and stuff like that. Okay, once you know where to dress up your avatars, let's do it first. Okay, so for example, I wanna change my eye color. Okay, what about this one? Oh, this one's really cute, don't you think? Okay, different eye color and different shape really uh, represent different personality of your avatar, so you can really play with the items you have here. So, originally we had the smaller eye, right? Okay, smaller bluish eye color. I think that's really good. Okay, so we're gonna uh, put this on her. And then later on, if you don't like the nose shape, it's really subtle, but you can just change the shape of her nose. Okay, whichever works with you. Yeah, I think that one looks good. Right, um, okay, and let's say change the hair color. Yeah, that doesn't look Right, this looks cute, right? Or if you like the black hair, or sorry, the, the, if you like the purple hair. Okay, this one is not bad either. All right, okay. So once you have the face <laughs> made up, you can try the different dresses on her. I think I'll put this one. This is what we had originally, but today I'm feeling a bit little black dress, so I kind of put this on. Right, and uh, the other thing is you can change the position of her head, and there's another one actually. Her eyes, you can do left and right, stuff like that. So there are several things you can do with the after, really flexible in Pyramist M. And if you want to change her skin color, you can choose it here. For this one, I'm just gonna choose Amber because I want her to look really healthy. All right. Yeah, there's several things you can play around here. We mostly use the skin and that's where you can um, change return to default or remove all the items if you don't like it. And this is uh, the eyes. Yeah, like that, you can change it. Like the head, head tilting, left and right. But you can also do it here, just click on the white space around her head. Her head moves too. And then if you want the eyes to move, just click around her eyes. So that 
that's how you create the avatar first. And for if you remember, for the scene we had two avatars, which means we need to save the avatar. So this is how do you save it? You can save up to eleven avatars, which is really cool uh, because you can choose up to three to put them in a scene, so you can make a really beautiful, uh, let's say, a virtual world for them. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the male character. So here is how to change the gender. It's very easy. Choose the guy, click OK, and here it is. All right, so this is the a guy character we have, and the same thing. You can change the hairstyle, the dresses, the eye color. Uh, for this tutorial, since I already made the character, I think this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna just use it. So, so up to now, I've shown you how to make avatars, how to change skin color, and how to change the gender. And when you are satisfied with your characters, this is what you're gonna do. Click the camera. This takes you directly to the scene. Okay, so um, sometimes we'll be like, why do we need a scene, right? It's just basically uh, avatars, and I'm fine with avatars as an icon. Okay, so with Pyrenees.m, uh, we want you to really have a lot more fun with avatars. We just we think avatars are like uh, different selves living in different worlds. So we want to create the world for them, and this is why we have this function. Well, if, of course you don't have to use it, but if you think it will add more fun to your play, feel free. Okay, so now with all the avatars we saved here, I'm just gonna choose the girl I created. Um, so on the left hand side, you can move around your characters. So that's a layering, right? Okay. But for now, I'm not gonna care too much about the layering. So the guy, right? Let's see. All right. So um, this is what I have for the layout, and then I'm gonna add some background and probably some decorations to it. Okay, so here the same thing, very similar to the avatar, you'll see the selections. All is what you have for the scene, all the items you have for the scene. And here are the specifics, like little ribbons, hands, and then later on you have like a cup of coffee, you may need it for this scene, and then different stuff like this is the animal which I use often and then this is the background and for this scene it's a couple in front of a cafe so we're gonna use the background first right and one really cool thing is you can change the size of your character you can put it up or down or you can make one bigger than the other so I'm just gonna make them the same size for this Remember in the avatar creation, we could change uh, the direction she looks. So if they look at the same direction, it would really mean something, right? They're like a couple. Uh, but yeah, in this scene, you can really customize a lot of stuff, right? And I'm just gonna use this. It's a filter. It's probably gonna make everything look a bit more mysterious. All right, let's see. The other thing about uh, the layering is uh, you can put it behind the avatar so it enhances the color of the coffee shop. But um, with the avatars, everything is fine, so you can do that. Or if you like something on top of your avatars, let's see, what do I have? Oh, let's just do the coffee cup. Okay, where is it? Okay, here it is. Can make it bigger. So this is on top of them, so it really pops up. Let's see, she's holding it. Okay. You can play like that too. So you may ask, right now I don't have that many items, can I add more? Of course, there are multiple ways to get more items. You can get them for free by just playing the game regularly because you receive uh, bonus stars and bonus tickets. And sometimes we do really uh, fancy campaigns. You can get multiple tickets to get 
really cool items. And once you have the tickets, you can exchange them for different items. And then the items are in our shop section. So right now, this is what I have for the scene. I'm gonna export it. Here you have the option of writing something here, like I said, say a couple, and you can use hashtag. Okay, there are some suggestions, but if you don't like it, the same thing, you can just add more. Uh, by the way, you don't have to add the, the hashtag mark. You can just write it here, like say coffee shop. Okay. I see a lot of people are making coffee stuff. So, so it's already popped up here. So I'm gonna use that one. And then um, this is the view you can change. Say if you put in public, everyone on the app will be able to see it. But if you don't, you can choose uh, whether your followers to see it or just you. For this case, we're gonna use just me. All right, so, okay. After that, you see the final piece. Uh, this is what we created. And uh, you can choose to share it, save it to your phone or share it uh, on your social media platform, let's say. Okay, so, so here are several you can use. You can also export it in video and save it to your device. Have fun with the app.